Okay, so when you get the box, the first thing you're going to notice is that there are tools inside the box. Now, they're all on the muff flaps, and this is the Cybertruck version, not to mistake it with our Rally version, which is also available. Every single one is wrapped in a bag. First and foremost, just make sure you have one on each side. It's critical that we go through and make sure just in the event that there is a packaging error, we want to make sure we have the muff flaps for the front and the rear. Um, so you'll notice that they're different sizes and we'll go, we'll cover that shortly. So based on that, we were able to open the box and as you can see, we have one for basically each side. And now in here is, we have the instruction manual, which tells you the, the front and the rear. Um, how can you tell right off the bat? Well, I can tell you right now, the front, would be the one that uses these clips here, as it says in our instruction manual. And the other thing is the back is just larger, just bigger overall. So with that, inside the box, you're gonna have our trim removal kit. And I'm gonna use exactly what's in the box, that way I don't cheat. And there is gonna be a series of two versions of the push pins. There is a type A and a type B, and on the instruction manual is, is version A and version B. Um, version B is gonna be a lot tighter and harder to remove. Uh, version A is easier to remove, not as tight. Um, we're not gonna use screwdrivers to install this whatsoever. The whole purpose of installing these is to have something that's tight fit. We're gonna go ahead and use version B that's tighter so it stays on much more sturdier. And we're gonna go through exactly how to do the installation right now. All right, so we're gonna work on our rear passenger side mud flap first. We're gonna to have to remove Tesla's four original pushpins because we're using those existing slots. One, two, three, four. We're gonna get our tool, we're gonna to slide it into this, basically a little notch that every single pushpin has. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide in the, this device here. And pop it in to the little opening. There you go. So all four are off. Set them aside. Um, and for today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and use the type A. Um, but first and foremost, we're going to align these up to these slots. So they should all fill in. I'm going to grab our type A push pins here. And for our installation, we're just going to go ahead and pop in slots here. And basically push these in. Um, and again, you're just going to make sure it aligns, push these in. Um, and then knock out the ones in the inside. Here and here. Going to knock these in. And uno mas. All done. And that's how you do the rear. My flaps, not gonna move anywhere. Trust me. Let's go to the front. So we're gonna take a closer look at if everything is installed correctly. This particular push pin, you can see that it's underneath the Tesla trim. Both the flap locking mechanism and the push pin both live underneath this. Everything else is the same. This one's really tough to push in, but you should be able to get it in. And this part, like I said, the part that bends on the outside, um, and once installed, there's, this is not moving. Let's take a look at the finished product. So this is what it looks like. 
when it's installed. Here's the ground clearance. And here's the back side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and knock it out on the other side, and then we'll do another walkthrough of what the entire vehicle looks like.